Okay, we're going to do the layer tuner now, part five. What you're looking at right now, of course, is the main dialog, which you get when you first start the program. So I will go to the View Select menu and click on Layer Tuner, and here we have that view. <clears throat> and Layer Tuner got its name just for that fact. It's, it's an excellent mechanism to use to, to fine-tune every layer in your project. Each one of the parameters that controls a layer, the, the sides, the upper diameter, incline angle, lower diameter, height of the layer, wall thickness, and stagger are all easily changeable from this view, either by typing values, so I can change the number of sides in layer 1 to 24 easily enough, or I can move the slider part of that control. Do it much easier and faster. It's easier to drag something than to type it. And I could change the diameter the same way. Clicking on the arrow gives a small change. Clicking in the field gives a larger change. Of course, the other side is going to be smaller. And of course, you can drag the indicator itself, but that sometimes it's hard to see what's going to go, what's going to happen. So. By that same mechanism, we can change every one of these items. Say like the stagger, we can easily rotate that back and forth. Let me make a change here and change the basic form of the project. Right now, this is a frame miter, so everything's 90 degrees pieces. We'll change it to a ringmaster. There we are. It's a Ringmaster project. Or we can change it to a compound miter. We lost the number of sides, so we'll input the sides again to 18. And notice now we have the walls of each segment, each ring sloped to match the slope that's going to be in the project. When you've got it in the either in the ringmaster mode or the compound miner mode, a couple other little interesting things come into play, and that is that these layer junctions become important and binding. So I can change the inc incline angle on layer one, and notice that the bottom of layer one stays in place, and just the top moved. Only the top part moved. If I change the lower diameter of layer one, Notice that it also brings along with it the upper diameter of layer 2. So they're locked together. Making it a little bit easier to design in that kind of a situation. In the project detail mode, we'll move, change it back to uh, frame miter. Notice I've got a little bit of pinch in layer 7, so what I'll do is I'll highlight layer 7 and I'll change its wall thickness just a little bit by tweaking the slider a little bit. Now layer 7 is fixed. And that's about it. Well, let's see, there's other items here. Let's change to the whole view again. If you want to make a picture for a customer or your wife or husband, just click on that checkbox and it'll trim away the excess material outside the, the red outside a project line. And of course if it's if you've painted the segments to represent colors you're going to use, then those will be trimmed off similarly. Just don't use red. And I think that's it for the layer tuner.